And we're in. So. What were we doing last time? I don't even remember. Um, so we had started building kind of our second base uh, over under in the tree over yonder where we were doing some stuff with steam. And besides some mining and some processing using the stuff we already have, one of the things I did was I figured out uh, I used some resources to, um, well, I think I had started um, on the last stream. I had a little bit of this brownstone, brownstone road, uh, brownstone road slab, because when you walk on it, uh, you're fast. You walk fast, <laughs> faster. Uh, so I started expanding this, and one of the things, so this, this block is kind of interesting. It's not hard to make once you have the Tinker Smeltery, um, but it needs tin and gravel. So I got some more gravel, and I made another one of these, um, well two actually, because we lost the pipe that we used to have here. It got blown up by that creeper. Uh, so I made two more, and I set up a thing this is empty, yeah. but I set up a thing to um, automate. I made a couple of extra hoppers, and I moved, moved them since, but I originally set this up with some hoppers to put uh, gravel into the basin. And so when you pour a little bit of tin on a block of gravel, it makes a block of this uh, brownstone stuff. And then you can uh, chisel it with the chisel that we got as a quest reward back forever ago. And you can uh, saw it into slabs, and then you have slabs. And so I made uh, a lot. It's not quite a full uh, three wide road all the way, but uh, just make a faster way of getting from A to B. It's, um, I don't know, maybe even slightly faster than the horse, although I think the horse on this is even faster, but it's pretty unmanageable to try to keep the horse on track. <laughs> um, horse is still here, yeah? Good. Uh, and it's less annoying to like, oh, we gotta get on the horse, we gotta get the lead, you know, and then tie up the horse and do all that. It's much easier just to run on the road. Uh, the other thing since the last stream was I made another uh, Coke oven here under the tree. So now there's two. So we can get more uh, charcoal going at once. So that, there's that. Although we're gonna have an issue with um, supplying wood for these things. And maybe that's something we can work on today actually is uh, some farming stuff. Specifically figuring out the, um, the thing where we take some of the seeds that we need to be able to identify what kind of seeds they are that we got from, I think that was the last stream, we got some seeds, but we didn't know what they were. What they were. We needed the uh, plant lens, right? And that needed a glass lens, which needed a diamond and some glass and a file. And we can do, do all that now because we have the diamonds and we have all that. So that might be a good thing to start off with um, once I finish like catching us up. The other thing that happened, oh yeah, so I did make the uh, lunchbox because I was just running around so much that I was really tired of dealing with the lunch bag that only holds three food items. And we need a, a total of six to do the proper rotation. So there we go, now we have six not so great food items, but better than nothing that we can uh, carry with us. Let's sleep. Um, I think previously we'd already made an iron furnace to make the, uh, the boiler before, but I made an extra one just for smelting. I also kind of look through to try to figure out what the kind of order of operations were for processing these ores. Um, so in the case of the iron ore that we're mining, you can crush it with the macerator, uh, which we made last time, but then you can macerate this to get an impure pile of iron dust. Now, the thing is, is that once you get to crushed iron ore, you do get 
I think it's two for one um, in the Macerator. Yeah, you get two crushed iron ore for each iron ore. So you double, right? Because each of these you can just put in the furnace and you get a iron ingot. So you double the amount of uh, iron you get, which is good. Now you don't get any extra if you then macerate this into the impure pile or then wash this in a cauldron to get the pure pile of iron dust. But if you if you macerate and then wash, then you can take that and put that into the tinker's uh, smeltery. So that's much more fuel efficient than, uh, than using a, even an iron furnace and using a coal to smelt it. So that was um, one of the things I figured out since last time and kind of, um, that's at least the case for the iron. It's not the case though for the cassetterite that we're getting tin from. Um, there is an extra step that we would need to do where we electrolyze and that requires electricity to do. So we can't do that. Uh, so for the tin, I'm just and for the uh, for the tin and for the copper, the uh, shell copperite, I'm just putting it directly into the furnace. Uh, the other thing that happened was that I made another steam masturbator and I added some more pipes here. So we have um, and then I made another coal boiler. So just kind of doing more of the same thing that we did on stream, just to have more power, more steam power, and more uh, grinding going on. To move things along. Uh, and I think that's the main thing that happened. I did um, make a couple more iron chests uh, for us to store stuff. And that's, I think most most everything that's, that's changed since the last stream. But what's really nice though with the, uh, with the lunchbox is now all my food items are just in one slot and it just cycles through each of the six items. So until they run out, which will be soon, until they run out though, um, I don't have to worry about uh, getting tired of one food item and then um, not being able to eat it until I go find other things to eat. Um, yeah, so we got a, a good ore collection. I did bring some of the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did bring all of the ores and powders and stuff from the old place over here. So that's what we're seeing here and here. What was that? Oh yeah, coal ore. Okay, cool. Um, not everything has been moved over yet. I, I think my plan is right to just focus on kind of processing metals and doing kind of industrial stuff over here and farming stuff over there. And that's gonna be kind of the split uh, until we're ready to do, to move on to the next age to low voltage power and then we'll Maybe make a separate base for that or expand this either way. I have also been going up to the top of the tree and getting more um, wood and bark to feed the, uh, the coke ovens. Since I'd actually ran out of the stuff we collected before. So probably what's gonna happen is I'm going to uh, <laughs> cut down the tree all the way down to where our stuff is. And then maybe we'll build another base around this. Or maybe at that point we'll be at low voltage and maybe we'll just do a new base kind of somewhere nearby. I have to think about that. Um, one downside though like of this road, so it's very fast, but running does use, you know, hunger. Not, not a, a lot, but it's, you know, riding the horse doesn't use any hunger at all. So that that's the downside of doing this, but then we don't have to deal with the horse. Okay. So, um, and then I did, I didn't see any further expansion of the, the weeds. So I don't know why the weed destroyed that one crop that was there, but it didn't seem to spread to any, any of the others over the course of many hours of me hanging around in this general area and this, these are in the spawn chunks as well. So this was loaded the whole time. Um, so it seems like we can use the crop sticks and um, just like have them passively there and, and go collect them. And maybe we should, um, maybe we'll convert the rest of this to using crop sticks as well. I don't know. Or maybe we'll just expand uh, along the riverside. 
the reason I'm doing the farming by the river is because of the biome. So like up in the top left, you might be able to see where it says biome uh, temperate river. Uh, if I get a little bit further though, yeah, so it becomes cold forest. It's uh, It oscillates, but a lot of this up here is cold forest, so it's colder and it's lower humidity. And I think that might have some impact on the crops. I'm not 100% sure, but that's, that's my thought. Uh, okay, so we have uh, our seeds that we collected from our uh, crossbreeding effort the other stream, and we have some additional crop sticks that I've prepared, uh, and odds and ends. I did also make this bronze mattock because there was a quest for that. That was one thing where I thought that would make sense to do. Um, I forget where that quest was. Oh yeah, it's the one... Uh, this one right here. The one that looks like a seed. Um, and that unlocked... Huh, I guess nothing. Unknown seeds no more. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I think though, uh, that is kind of... One last thing, actually, that while I'm over here. Um, that I did was I slightly expanded upon the underground metal or berry, yeah, or berry um, growing area. So it's slightly larger. And so we have can grow, can harvest. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. So these will grow ore berries, so copper ones. Yeah, secret tunnels. It kind of looks like that, right? But these are aluminum ore berries. Iron or berries. I, oh, you can't see it because my myself is in front of the display. But like right behind me on the screen, it says iron or berry, and these are aluminum again, and then iron, and then iron and iron. So lots of iron I'm growing. Um, I think what I want to do. We don't have any tin or berries. That would be really great because we're going through a lot of tin and a lot of copper to make bronze. Uh, but yeah, you can basically, in here in the dark, these plants will grow, and then we can see, it says can grow, <laughs> right there, but can harvest, no, not yet. They haven't grown yet, but when they do, we'll be able to right click to harvest all of this, and um, melt down the berries, or plant them, and expand out the farm, so we can have uh, self-replenishing metal supplies. I think there's a bunch of different kind of ore berries that we can eventually get or get as quest rewards. Um, so yeah, that that was what I expanded. I basically like doubled the size of that area just to, so that we'd have more kind of renewable stuff. But it does have to be dark. So that, that area is set up so that the plants, they're on farmland, so mobs can't spawn there. And then on the sides are slabs, so mobs can't spawn there either. So it's dark enough for stuff to spawn, but there's nowhere for mobs to spawn. And it, it's set up so that the walking paths, um, you're tall enough that you can't fall into where the stuff is growing, because they're, they they will hurt you if you touch them. They're like, uh, they have thorns or something. Anyway, all right, so that's, <laughs> that's all the things that have happened since the last Monday stream. So uh, I think what we should do is we should make, yeah, like cactus, exactly. Or, um, I mean, cactus has been, been in Minecraft forever, but the um, the sweet berry bushes, right? Because cactus, you can't walk through, but the sweet berry bushes in vanilla Minecraft, you can walk through and they hurt you. And so they're like that. Although this version of Minecraft, I think was before that plant was added. It's a really old version of Minecraft. <laughs> Right. Nope. I failed to jump. Okay, so uh, what do we need? We need this plant lens so that we can identify those unknown seeds. Now, maybe we should just get more unknown seeds and then bulk identify them. But I really want to get some, uh, 
I want to know if so. I know that at least one of the seeds, at least one of the seeds is a, um, a bonsai. So it's a, it's like a tree that you can plant in the crop sticks. Uh, and then you have a renewable source of wood. So I really want that. If there's at least two, we should be able to crossbreed them as well. So I really want the, um, the plant lens so we can identify which seeds are which. So for that, we just need the tools that we have and a couple of sticks and a glass lens. Now the glass lens, uh, again, is just glass and diamond and we have some diamonds. We have one diamond. We actually have diamond ore in here, still nine more. So we, we have some backup diamonds for things because there are things that we're gonna make today like the, um, uh, let's see if we go back to the steam tier. We want to do the uh, compressor and the extractor. And I think one of these maybe needs a diamond. I forget which. Oh, maybe not. That was the macerator. The macerator needed a diamond. That's right. So when I made the two macerators, I, I, I used another diamond. Uh, oh, yeah. This is not doing anything because it's full. Um, one of the other things that we could do to... Um, further automate this is there are 10 pipes that we had looked at uh, I think last stream I briefly mentioned them they were they're in the quest book and they will allow you to have items flow out from one machine and to maybe into a chest or into another machine so we might we might look at doing that as well to uh, kind of do some further automation so that stuff doesn't get kind of just stuck and um, um, you know, we're wasting time. <laughs> All right, so we need a diamond. We need a piece of glass. We got that. We need some flint. I think it was like six flint. Could be wrong. And over to the crafting table. Glass lens. There we go. We'll use our file. We'll file down a lens. Using a diamond in a file. And then... The plant lens is just uh, that plus some sticks, so we'll make some sticks. It's indestructible, which is really good. We have enough stuff that we have to like, do you know how many saws <laughs> and files I've made? Uh, there we go. Quest complete. All right, where was that? That was probably under fishing and farming. Yeah, there we go. What did we get? We got a zom plant seed and 10 farmer coins. Now, I don't know what a zom plant is. Could be good. I don't suppose hitting you on that does. Oh. I see two crop breeding. I hope it grows zombies. I think it might grow. Um, like zombie zombie fat flesh equivalent so what I do see here is that there is a thing in here for us to be able to see how to crossbreed things that is interesting um, so I think, yeah, so I think we can get zombie flesh. Not whole zombies, but bits of them. <laughs> All right, now we run back to where our seats are. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I've noticed. It makes you really fast, but that means if you have kind of any diagonal velocity, it just like throws you off to the side. Um, not to mention that on this narrow path, it's pretty hard to Stay, uh, <laughs> stay on the straight and narrow. All right. All right, so we already know that these are aluminum ore berry seeds. Um, I think because I had maybe left clicked some of the aluminum ore berries that we're growing. So that'll be good for later. But let's try, maybe, just maybe, 
these two unknown seeds will be tree seeds. Now, how do we use the plant lens? Not like that. Requires plus nine light level to grow. Okay. Can we do this? Okay, let's check the quest book. Many plants look the same. Someday you'll be able to use a machine to tell them apart, plus more. But for now, you can make a simple plant lens to at least identify species. After using it, you can tell the following. Okay. But... How? So we might need filing cabinets here pretty soon for storing lots of seeds. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Still doesn't t tell me how to use this though. Better dirt. Ooh, garden soil is a thing. <laughs> With an assembler and some seed oil. Okay, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. Weeds. There is a weeding trowel that we can make to pick up weeds. Um, and then there's some stuff about growing dyes. So I might look at that later. Pops, experience, weed and resin, unknown seeds no more, three of 32. That's interesting, wait a second. 10 of 32. <laughs> Seven, okay, so it's just based on what I have in my inventory. Wait, was that a uh, collect? Okay, it's not a consume. So it's not gonna eat the 32 seeds, but we need to have 32 distinct seeds in our inventory to be able to complete this quest. So that is doable. Do you think we just have to plant the seed and then use the plant lens on it? I mean, it's it's called the plant lens and not the seed lens, so I guess that would make sense. Let's try it. <laughs> uh, so if we do something like this, this is a wheat. This is a wheat. All right. So neither of those were the tree. How about you? That looks like a, this is a reed. All right. This is also a reed. Uh, I feel like I've done the pattern wrong here. That's fine. I think. What are you? This is a tomato. Interesting. Um, do I care? Nope. Unknown seed. What is this? This is a wheat. Meh. This is a barley. Nope. This is a wheat. And yeah, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't use the plant lens up, which is good. I don't need to be making more and more things. What is this? This is a cocoa. Interesting, but we, we're growing. So I know that a thing we can do is we can level up crops to make them more productive and stuff. And we might do that at some point. But um, I really only care about being able to grow wood 
And I know that we have a seed in here that will do that for us. It's wild. It's best to just eat anything and everything. It's how you know what tastes best. Yep. Well, what's interesting in this pack, because this has a, a mod called um, Spice of Life, is that it's the more you want to taste one of everything because you get a bonus. You get a bonus for trying out different things. Um, there's definitely just better foods that you would want to eat. Like you'd want to, what you'd want to do is you would want to come up with a set of six foods that have produce a lot of saturation value. Um, wait, does this game, does this version of Minecraft have saturate? Anyway, it, it will give you a lot of haunches, right? It would fill you up. That's one of the funniest parts of uh, Skyrim ESO. What's that? What's this again? This is this is a weed. Okay, I don't want a weed either. Get out of here, weed. Ooh, this is a purple glow shroom. I guess I'll keep that. Maybe it'll crossbreed with something here. Uh, getting weird damage issues from eating random things. Oh yeah, 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 right. Of course, all the Elder Scrolls, you gotta try eating different things to see what their effects are. So you can, you know, learn alchemy. This is a wheat. So we'll crossbreed the uh, glow shroom with the wheat and maybe we'll get another glow shroom. Hmm. That looks like a tree. Yeah, this is an acacia bonsai, great. And then we have a zombie plant. And I guess I'll crossbreed a zombie plant with a acacia bonsai to see what that does. Um, this is a weed. So that's kind of all we can do right now. At some point we'll be able to harvest this and this will just, we won't have to go and chop down trees anymore once we have, you know, um, ideally if we could get an oak bonsai, there's a lot of recipes that are like, oh, you should have oak wood. <laughs> but you know, any kind of wood be, will be good for like um, throwing into the uh, Coke oven for charcoal. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, and we're gonna put the new farmer coins away. There we go. All right, so that was one thing that I really wanted to get going, but I did want to do kind of off stream where it's not, you know, <laughs> people couldn't see. I wanted to share that. Um, let's look at the quest book. What else is there to do? I mean, there's so many things to do. Um, we should look at food while we're talking about food. Um, so there were, I feel like I must have done this off stream, but there's a whole thing about making bread. So unlike in vanilla Minecraft, where you can just take three pieces of wheat and make a piece of bread, it's a little bit more involved in this pack. Um, oh look, we get four, four more crop sticks. So let's go ahead and claim these rewards from something I did at some point. So you can make flour either by using your mortar or by using the macerator. You can put barley or wheat in the macerator. You can get flour. Um, yeah, we want all those things. And then the flour you can combine with water and make dough, uh, which I guess we could just directly eat the dough. We have not tasted that. We should taste that. Uh, I will take, ooh, I'm gonna take the fast food loot bag because we might get something that we've not eaten before. There we go. And then bread. At some point I had made eight bread. Eight bread. Um, I think I will take the rolling pin. Nah, I mean, so the, the rolling pin is not hard to make now. It used to be, right? But it's just some, some rods and ingots. 
So I think we'll make that. Uh, the loot bag could be anything. Well, not anything, anything, but it could be a lot of different things. If I hit U on this, it could be any of these things, which a lot of these things we have, but some of these things might be challenging to have, like fries. Uh, <laughs> so I'll take that loot bag, claim, there we go, and uh, toast. So if we smelt a piece of bread, we get toast. It has slightly more nutrients, so it's more filling, and we've not eaten it. And we can probably use it for other things. So I think we should make a bunch of toast to go into our lunchbox. You just ate toast? Nice. <laughs> All right, let me, whoop, I guess my inventory, okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, stuff I can put away. Got another mortar there. Barley seeds. Okay, maybe we can um, put some barley on crop sticks. All right, let's open the loot bags. Let me put these carrots away. So, um, so whatever we get will appear here. Ooh, okay. So what did we get? We got 64 grain bait and uh, a vishroom stew. So we've not eaten this. This doesn't seem wise, it says. <laughs> I mean, really, what could possibly go wrong? And what is grain bait? It completes a quest. Um, we probably, for your animal trap, interesting. We probably have not unlocked the prerequisites for this quest. Yeah, there it is. So that, yeah, I think so. So we would need to do, oh no, there it is. So we would need to do animal trap huh I might check that out okay so when we get hungry next I think I'll just try eating this since I've not eaten this before what is this made out of it's made from a vishroom from Thomcraft and another mushroom or a bucket of vishroom soup um Slightly magical. Okay, so if we're gonna make some um, some bread, let's get some wheat. Also check it on the farm over here. I guess we could also use the barley that, we're, that we've been growing here to make some more. Uh, can we use rye? Where did I get rice from? Oh, this was rice. Huh. Okay. Can we can we use rye as well? So big flour. Yes. It all it all makes just uh, <laughs> a universal flour. Not specific like wheat and rye and barley flours. All right. So what do we got going on here? We got a weed. No, thank you. And we got a weed. And a nothing. Okay. We'll keep an eye on this. Let's go make some flour. Now, I think I'll just use the mortar rather than going all the way back over and using the um, uh, macerators. Can we macerate the rice? Oh, and it gives us flour too. All right, so we can have uh, rice flour and barley flour, and wheat flour. Uh, I was kind of hoping that would go through the whole mortar. Can we combine mortars? No, okay. And we can't eat flour. I wonder if we can throw flour into the cauldron to turn it into um, uh, dough. 
Does that work? It does. All right, that'll save us probably a little bit of effort. What we probably want to do is we want to throw a stack at a time in. And that makes wherever that went. <laughs> and it's gone. It's probably... Oh, it's right there. Cool. All right, so we got a stack of dough. What does dough taste like? Uh, I don't know if you saw that very briefly. We got some hearts. That's because we've never eaten raw dough before. Uh, also, don't eat raw dough. Um, the flour may have microorganisms in it that uh, would be killed by cooking the dough. PSA. <laughs> Uh, let's let's eat this stew. Another inadvisable thing. Oh yeah, this is good. We just have a few effects: weakness and blurred vision and nausea and blindness. Okay, you know the worst thing would be, besides this effect, would be if it was a blood moon. <laughs> The downsides of life no longer affect you. What? The downsides of life no longer affect you. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, wow. Also, glad the blur blurred vision has gone away. That, that That's what it looks like if I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's make the rest of this dough. There we go, bam. All right, so the dough, we got the dough. We've eaten it once, and we can make we can make shepherd's pie. Um, we can do all sorts of things with it. We can put it in a bio lab and make a Petri dish. Um, we can can it. Pretty sure what we're supposed to do with it is, um, what? Let's check the quest book. So to make bread, you make dough. You take two doughs <laughs> to make a dough, uh, which we've also not eaten in bread-shaped dough before. So let's do that next. Ooh, so if we take one, we get in bun shape. Let's do that, we've not eaten that. And then let's do this to make it in bread shape. So if we cook this dough, we get a bread. Uh, and that bread is 1.5%. We can slice it into sliced bread, uh, which doesn't seem like a good deal, right? We get a third of the nutrients. Uh, but then you can make a sandwich. <laughs> you can you make uh, breads. <laughs> but each of these things is a unique food item that we could eat and would give us hearts. Uh, right. So like if we eat, uh, we can't we can't eat. We just need to run around some. Um, right. But I wanted to see. So if we so we get half a percent for this. If we cook this. We get 1%. So that is, if we're just looking at this versus the loaf, this is better, right? Because this uses half the amount of dough because it's 1% versus one and a half. What can we do with the bun? We can slice the bun and then we actually get half of that. Can we use the sliced bun? We can make a burger. Yes. We can reassemble the slices of the bun into uh, one thing and get that back as well. Okay, so let's make a couple more of these just to get go down that whole path, and then we'll turn the rest into uh, into this so that we can make toast, lots of toast to put in our lunchbox. Let's check in on the farm. What do we got here? We got a crop, something. What is it? This is a wheat. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Um, this 
It's not harvestable yet. Oop, I fell in. Can harvest. Max size. All right, so if I right click this, I didn't get anything. That's unfortunate, but I did get, this is a mallow berry. All right, so we grew a mallow berry. Um, so what I'll do is I'll wait for this to grow to full size and then I'll left click it. And there's a good chance that we'll get a, um, a seed from that. And that's uh, a thing. Okay, so, um, Uh, I, let me put a couple of these things away. Okay, we've not eaten this yet. We've not eaten this. The rest of these we're going to cook. <laughs> Perhaps it's time to stop playing and take a break. The game tells me. Actually, it is almost. <laughs> but not yet. Um, do we have fuel for this furnace? I think we don't. Alright, so I'm going to take that back to the other place and we'll... Uh, do some processing. And the run there will use a little bit of our hunger so we can eat the thing. Unique food items we've never eaten before. Hmm. Oh, let's do this first. Let's cook those. Since there's only a couple of them. So we're gonna eat one bun, cut a heart, and then, um, do I have a knife? I used to have a knife. I think I need a knife to, uh, do not teleport bread, it says. What, it, what why? What does it mean? Uh, okay, we can use a knife or a knife, okay. Or we can use a slicer. <laughs> Uh, we should be able to make a knife. You would think at this point we should be able to make a knife. Can we make like an iron knife? You ask all these questions when I know way less. I mean, uh, this is how I think. <laughs> By posing questions. Okay, that's not how you make a knife, apparently. Neither is that. Uh, I have something bookmarked here. Oh, we need. Um, well, if we want to use, a, if we want to make an iron knife, all your all your knowledge of Minecraft comes from me. All right. Well, how you make a knife is you need a hammer, and you need a file, and you need a metal plate and a metal rod. So metal rod needs two ingots. The or metal rod needs one ingot. The plate needs two ingots. Then you use the hammer. And then you use up the hammer and then you have to make more plate. <laughs> no, uh, ingots, but yeah, anyway. How many hammers and files and saws have I gone through just in the last week of like grinding through stuff? Um, that's part of the reason 
this this pack takes forever. Although we'll get to the point where we'll have better tools that will last for a lot longer and we'll be doing more automated stuff. And then it'll be more about, you know, building complicated machinery that will no one will know what we're what we're doing. Uh, it'll be uh, wild. But uh, to get there, we must do this. Uh, I think it's a file, not a screwdriver. Where is, there's a file. Yeah, there we go. All right, plate and hammer, a knife. It has 25,600 durability. All right, so now the knife lets us cut this bun into a slice bun. We did it. All right, and I can't eat it, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Uh, we have eaten bread before. But what we'll do is once we finish cooking all the bread, we'll put it back through, I think. So what we're gonna do, we could slice it into sliced bread. We, we might do that once. There we go, now we have sliced bread too. Um, what we want to do is I think we wanna just cook it again into the toast, and then the toast, we can do things too. We can make a BLT. Mmm. We just need, you know, things. <laughs> Beans on toast. Garlic bread. We don't have butter though. We can make a toast sandwich. 3%. That's pretty good. might just do that. Toast sandwich. Just two pieces of toast into one. Now that's not... So that that's like space efficient, right? Because you, you can have a stack of this, presumably. So 64 items, and they're each 3%. But in terms of like resources, that's not efficient, right? Because you're, you're doing 4% into 3 Oh, and it's night. I should sleep before we have a bunch of stuff spawning. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go back, back over to the farm and check on that really quick. And I'll also use up some hunger. So, uh, Foxy, when you were playing Baldur's Gate on uh, Saturday, a lot of that was me. A lot of a lot of the time, where where I was I had you on one screen, and I was just spending that time running back and forth and grabbing stuff and um, you know smelting materials, yada yada yada. All right, uh, was that another heart? I think that was another heart. Okay, I think I'm just gonna finish off these. Lol. Wow. <laughs> well, not just running on it, but you know, running to one base and getting some stuff and doing some stuff and like putting stuff into the smeltery and then waiting for that to process and grabbing it and running back and then checking in on the masturbators and just like processing a lot of uh, a lot of materials. It just takes time. So we, we are growing stuff here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Master Gamer, right. Um, will these things crossbreed? I don't know. Uh, we can harvest this, though. So if I right-click it, look at that. I get wood. 14 acacia wood. Without having to use an axe at all. Isn't that great? Imagine if I had a whole field. <laughs> Actually, here's here's a thought. 
So uh, Acacia. Acacia? Yeah. So there is a Acacia um, seed. There we go. Acacia bonsai seeds. So these can be made from crossbreeding oak and spruce or from oak and crop. So what I suspect though is that like we're not going to get anything here except for weeds. Let's see like if I look at the zon plant and I hit EU. I don't know of a good way to filter this, right? But so the, the zombie flesh represents the zom plant crop. And the middle thing is the thing that's good. It's crossbred. The thing is, is there's 62 pages of stuff. All right, so if we combine, if we crossbreed a reed with the zom plant, we get that. Oh, there's something there. What could it be? Oh, hey, look. If we crossbreed a zom plant with a acacia bonsai, we get pumpkin. So this should be a weed. Okay. Unfortunate. I think what we need to do, honestly, is go back to the uh, the layout I had before, the one from the quest book, for just making seeds, and then um, maybe even expand the farm out further, and just do a lot of that and make a lot of seeds, and see what we get. That'll also let us complete the quest. So I think after the break, that's what we'll we'll go about doing. Let me uh, do that, and we'll go back to the base really quick and. Um, throw the, I guess throw the bread back into the oven effectively and make some toast. And then we'll make some toast sandwiches. Almost done. I should um, probably make some more iron furnaces. Now, I don't know how to see it, but I know a lot of the stuff, like the, um, the stuff down there, the uh, um, Coke ovens. And I think these boilers and the iron furnaces, they all produce pollution. I don't know how to see pollution, but apparently there's a lot of pollution, <laughs> presumably. All right, so there we go. Toast we've not eaten before. Let's have a little bit of that. So filling. Tasty toast, Com quest completed. All right, uh, let's take another loot bag. Maybe it'll be something good. So now it's actually, yeah, a little bit. I'll get some more cook coins. I'll get a bag. Ooh, pomegranate smoothie. Yum. There we go. We've never tasted that before. So that was an extra contribution to our getting more hearts. Right there. Right. And then one last thing. Let's make a couple of toast sandwiches. Which we can't eat because we're full. Yeah, very fancy. Imagine if... So <laughs> it's a... It's a uh, unfulfilling light meal, but hey, it's got fruit. But imagine if we can make these. Um, it's actually not bad. If we if we had some pomegranate trees, which I think we have pomegranate, so we could grow pomegranate trees if we really wanted to, and some uh, snowballs and a juicer or a soft melon, we could make a bunch of these. We could do that. That is a thing.